Greetings, and welcome to part nine of the M3V3 tutorial series. In part nine, we will be discussing the new enhanced DXF overlay manipulation mode. In this new DXF overlay manipulation mode, we have added the ability to both translate and rotate the DXF overlay on the live video screen simultaneously. This new manipulation control has been added to both mouse control and touch control. This new overlay manipulation mode more closely resembles the kind of manipulation that's performed with a Mylar overlay. We will now take a quick look at an example in the M3 software. I'll go ahead and align my part so that my overlay comes in in position. By default, the new overlay manipulation mode is not enabled. In order to enable this new DXF manipulation mode, all we need to do is access the settings menu, go to the video setup screen, and set the Use Enhanced DC Overlay Manipulation flag to Yes. Now that this new overlay manipulation mode is enabled, the new mouse controls can be used to both translate and rotate the overlay on the screen simultaneously. As before, the left mouse can be used to either translate or rotate the overlay on the screen based on the state of the translate rotate button. However, if you now use the right hand mouse button to translate this overlay, the scroll wheel can be used in conjunction to initiate a rotation of the overlay. The, the rotation point will be positioned wherever the mouse pointer is when we start or initiate the scroll wheel rotate. Because we are using the right hand mouse button to enable this capability, the traditional digital pan functionality requires that the shift key be pressed in order to translate the overlay. As mentioned, the touchscreen controls can also be used to translate and rotate the overlay simultaneously. Simply place three fingers onto the touchscreen and either translate in X and Y or rotate, depending on the desired manipulation of the overlay feature. Thank you.